Today's video is a bit unique from all the other videos because today we have a psychologist who will be talking to us about anxiety and fear during presentation or speech. Maria Seovic from Cyprus, who is a psychologist, will be joining us today, will be helping us to clarify some common questions which people have with regards to anxiety and fear during presentation and speech. Furthermore, she'll be also giving us some tips and tricks on how to overcome the anxiety and fear. So watch the video till the end. We have uh, Maria Silvig on the line with us. Uh, she's a psychologist in Cyprus and she has kindly spared some time for your conversation club in order to answer some of the questions which we have. Uh, thank you, Maria, for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's our pleasure. So the first question is that usually from a student to a top executive, everyone has to present at least once in front of a crowd. I've seen that a handful of them are hesitant and anxious while presenting despite having a really good content. Do you know why is that case? Yes, well, uh, everyone experiences anxiety, especially in front of such a crowd, uh, no matter how big the crowd is. Um, anxiety, so let me explain what anxiety actually is. It's um, a future-oriented fear. So you're, you're scared that something might happen, that either the crowd will laugh, you won't meet your own expectations, and so forth. Um, you must understand that it's something that it's coming from your own thoughts that the um, crowd itself might not be aware and is definitely not aware of what exactly you're thinking at that moment. Um, so it all comes from you, yourself, from inside. So you're trying to say that it's not something, a reality, it's rather an illusion which the brain makes. Yes, sort of, because um, everyone has their own, say, their own goals or something. They're there to um, present a topic, to deal with a topic. And um, the goal there is to present it as, as much um, as better as possible um, for the crowd to actually understand it. Uh, that's their goal in that mo moment. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're hoping that they will do it in a, in a good way, that the crowd, they'll meet the crowd's expectations, they'll, they'll meet their own expectations. Okay. That's why they might be scared. Interesting. That was uh, quite interesting to hear that. And actually, coming down to the second question now, that if a person has anxiety, or fear during presentation? Is it normal or is it something very abnormal? Yes, it's quite normal because everyone experiences some kind of anxiety. A little bit of anxiety is good. Um, too much obviously can have an impact on the presentation itself. Um, but the um, a little bit of anxiety is good, as I said before. Um, anxiety has a co correlation with excitement, or um, basically it, it stems from adrenaline. It's the same adrenaline that stimulates excitement and anxiety. So um, if you're able to turn it to excitement, turn the anxiety to excitement, uh, to presenting the topic that we great for you for your anxiety to go away okay interesting that's really good so you mean that turning the adrenaline into a positive energy yeah that's yeah. good that's Definitely something good. which i've learned as well today from today's lecture thank you very much for that uh, coming down to the third no problem. Question. <laughs> coming down to the third question now to what extent do you think it can affect on their presentation and speaking abilities can it affect detrimentally or can it be used to their advantage? Because some people are more anxious than the others. So is it always the case that it's a negative thing? 
Um, no, obviously some people experience more anxiety than others. Um, also, with regards to anxiety, there's different types of anxiety. Some people have what is called social anxiety, it's a disorder, um, which is diagnosed, which is um, something that you experience all the time in social situations. Say so people who experience that might experience more anxiety when presenting. So um, they might experience, they might overthink it, and uh, a lot of people with anxiety have sort of what I would call a, um, a tick or some kind of either biting their nails or tapping on wood or um, some kind of movement uh, that can make them, that can lead also to more anxiety uh, and make them think more about, oh, what are they thinking of me? I'm not meeting my own expectations, which might affect their presentations. Um, Instead of doing that, they should focus on delivering the topic um, and what they know, to feel confident of what they know, um, to present it to the public who are listening. Okay, that's really helpful. Um, coming down to the last question now, as a psychologist, yeah. what tips and tricks will you give to those people who are suffering from severe anxiety during public speaking, public speaking or presentation? As a psychologist, how can they overcome this fear? Is there any simple tips and tricks which the viewers can apply in their life and overcome this problem? As a psychologist, what do you think? Yes, well, I would suggest that they, before the actual uh, presentation, um, they say, write down or think about all the uh, good points, what will happen, uh, what could happen, or what their, uh, what their thoughts are. Oh, I'm so anxious. Why am I so anxious? What's causing this inside? Um, oh, the public uh, won't appreciate my talk or won't clap. But I'm not there for them not to clap. Uh, you know, you have to um, maybe make a list of advantages or disadvantages, what might actually happen, what... Um, are actually your thoughts and then uh, think about what's realistic and what's not realistic uh, that will happen or that might happen because with anxiety it's something that you think might happen it's not for sure that it will happen okay that's interesting um, yeah on the other hand um, what you can do uh, during the actual presentation um, first of all, deep breath. Um, so three deep breaths. It's actually it's been proven. Studies have been uh, proved that it will make you feel um, even a little bit better um, with anxiety-wise. Okay, that's good. So they're actually quite simple to apply. Deep breaths and then taking uh, talking yeah. about the worst case and the best cases. So you feel within that boundary that yeah. okay, it, will, it can go worse, but nothing worse than that. That's really helpful, yeah. actually. Yeah, definitely. That's really helpful. So uh, thanks a lot, Maria, for your time. And um, have a no nice problem. day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment box if you have any further questions with regards to this specific session or any other previous sessions of yours conversation club let me know in the comment box if you would like to have similar sort of sessions in the future and any specific topic you think which needs to be addressed don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to join us in the live interactive session which i have every week and that is absolutely free for my subscribers thank you very much